Okay, good morning everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. What I have laid out on this table are oh six pieces that I have somewhat cleaned in my uh, lye bath. They're pretty good. Um, most of them I would like to uh, dip in the lye bath again uh, after the worst of it is over and I refill it. Unfortunately, I created the lye bath in the cold weather and this certainly works better in warm weather. And the weather had gotten below zero for quite a length of time, so it took a lot longer to uh, clean the pans, but we're almost there. And what I did is I pulled them out and I've scrubbed them up and just put one layer of oil on them so that they don't rust. You know, so I do want to uh, immerse these again, they don't have to. I, I could season them right now. They're all pretty much clean, except maybe this one Wagner Ware is still pretty thick. Anyway, I'm going to go through this. I have three Canadian pieces and I have three U.S. pieces. I have a, let's start off with the oldest Canadian piece, which is a McClary's. I don't know if you can see this with the lighting. Okay, what I believe is my oldest piece is a McClary's Drip Top Spider, uh, number nine, and I'm gonna turn this around. You can see this is fairly clean. Uh, this is one that I probably could season right now, and I may do so. Like, I'm just gonna go through this and see which ones actually need a little bit more cleaning and whether I want to re-put them in the lye bath or just scrub them. Anyway, a little bit of history on the McClary's. McClary's was established in London, Ontario in 1851. But I believe that this piece was made somewhere in um, before 1927 because after that it joined a number of, McClary's joined another a group of companies to form GSW, which is the next one that we'll look at. And this is my GSW, number eight, made in Canada. And I believe this one was made somewhere around 1927. Okay, this unit has an X and three numbers on the handle, which specifies that it actually was manufactured by McClary's. So GSW stands for General Steel Wares and um, I think that was located in Toronto and it was formed in 1927 by the merger of McClary's and five other manufacturing companies. And it says, bear in mind some of these skillets have an X with three numbers on the handle. These would be the earlier GSWs made by McClary. If no X exists, then you definitely have a later piece that is not made by McClary. This one does have an X. Okay, yeah, they're very smooth on the inside. Okay, that, that is the GSW. Now, moving along, we're gonna go to Finley's Limited, number eight size fry pan or skillet, manufactured in Carl Carlton Place, Ontario. And Finley's was established by David Finley in 1862. After primarily making farm implements, Finley starts making stoves. And by 1965, it was purchased by a company in Montreal, becoming part of the Corpex Group. It closed in 1974. Okay, and the underside of this, once again, lovely shape. Very smooth compared to the modern skillets that you buy. Okay, now we're going to go to the American brands, and this is one that definitely needs some more cleaning. This is a Wagner Ware Sydney O, and the marking on it says 1058i. Once again, beautiful. Well, this one still needs some cleaning, and this is, and it's a number eight on the handle. This is probably the one that was the wor in the worst shape and definitely going to go back in the lye bath or 
a um, lot of scrubbing involved. And I'm sure everyone's familiar with Wagner Ware. Next on the list was the Griswold. I have two Griswolds. This is the second one. The other one was a little skillet. And this one came out beautiful too. As I said, with all of these, all I did is wash them and coat them in oil to prevent the flash rust that occurs when they're wet and it's not seasoned. So none of these have been seasoned and, and to my mind some of them still need to be cleaned a little more. My Finley, the number eight, still has a little carbon on there that I would like to remove before I season it. Okay, so Griswold still has a bit of marking there that I know I can get out. So, yep, still some work. Last but not least, uh, this is one of the later pieces that I picked up, a modern lodge, and it is ready to be seasoned. But, and, and this was sticky and gooey, and because it was a newer piece, and um, probably not that old and not that, uh, encrusted. It was, but it was probably not 60, 70 year old encrusting on it. It came clean very quickly in the lye bath. But uh, surface, extremely rough in comparison to these old ones. And uh, this one definitely is ready to be seasoned as it is right now. But as I said, I do want to do a few of them at a time, maybe three at a time, maybe a little bit more. So that is me catching up on what is mostly done. What are my favorites? Well, I, I think my McClary's are my favorites. They're probably the oldest one, but it is really nice to be able to do some Canadian um, research on Canadian uh, foundries and manufacturers of um, skillets. Although I, we do use our lodge pans quite often in this home they do get the most use. These other ones here have yet to be cleaned properly to be used. And uh, I am learning to collect ones that are more collectible as opposed to strictly any skillet available. But I think I've gotten past where I want to collect any at all. I have more than enough. <laughs> so, but here's where I'm at. Definitely this guy's got to go back in. And we should probably do that very soon. Okay, hope you enjoyed catching up on my little update here. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.